With firmware version 6.0 and higher, the MixPre 2 series can interface with DAWs as a 32-bit float USB audio interface. Please note that due to computer operating system limitations, this is only available on Mac with OS 10.15 Catalina or higher. A 32-bit float audio interface means that any signal exceeding the 0 dBFS maximum allowed by 24-bit depth can be normalized in a DAW after recording, with no distortion due to digital clipping. This is useful when incoming levels get too loud unexpectedly, which would normally cause distortion and ruin the recording. If you'd like an example of 24-bit versus 32-bit float audio recordings, check out the video in the description below. Using the MixPre 2 as a 32-bit float interface is ideal for set-and-forget voiceovers, recording sessions where the band is louder than their sound check, an overzealous rock vocal or guitar solo, or podcasts with suddenly loud guests. 32-bit float preserves the full 142 dB dynamic range of the MixPre 2's ultra-low noise cashmere preamps and multi-stage ADC architecture. Set the MixPre 2 to 32-bit float record mode by going to Menu, Record, Bit Depth. The MixPre 2 will automatically restart. Connect the MixPre to the computer via the USB-C port on the MixPre 2 and the appropriate USB port on your Mac. Enter the Mac's audio MIDI setup. Select the MixPre 2 as input and output, making sure to match your sample rate to that of your DAW. For this example, we will use 96 kHz. Make sure the system is set to 32-bit float and not 32-bit integer. If the sample rate or bit depth of the MixPre 2, audio MIDI setup, and DAW are mismatched, audio will not flow through the system correctly. For the following example, we will use Reaper, but the principles will apply to any DAW that supports 32-bit float USB audio streaming. See the link below for a list of compatible DAWs. Open Reaper and go to Preferences. In Preferences, make sure the audio device is set to your MixPre 2. In the top bar, click the text that displays sample rate and bit depth, then select Media Settings from the dropdown. Using the drop-down menu, change the wave bit depth to 32-bit floating point and press OK. Reaper has an auto-mute feature that will mute a signal above a certain level. When using the MixPre 2 as a 32-bit float interface, disable the setting by going to Preferences, Audio, Mute Solo, and select the drop-down box that says Automatically Mute Any Track. Select the option that says No Automatic Muting. Click Apply, then OK to make the change. Create a new track and make sure the track is being fed from the proper channel of the MixPre 2. For this example, we have a microphone plugged into channel 1. Make sure the track is armed in Reaper. To demonstrate the benefits of 32-bit float, I'm going to turn the trim gain of the microphone all the way up and record some dialogue. Hello everyone, this is Joe from Sound Devices using a 32-bit float USB audio interface. Notice the audio isn't clipped, though it is very loud. With a 32-bit float interface and DAW, we can bring this audio to normal levels. Selecting the clip will open the Media Item Properties window. Reaper features a Normalize option that is a great starting place to bring your audio back to appropriate levels. Press Normalize and hit Apply. After normalizing, we can hear the clip gain has been reduced and the audio is usable. Hello everyone, this is Joe from Sound Devices using a 32-bit float USB audio interface. If more adjustments are needed, drag the volume of the clip up or down to reach the desired level. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time for another Sound Devices tutorial.